Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on, on this movie that that, that 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 came out on HBO Max last year. And th th this movie was actually released first in IMAX movie theaters uh, that, that back on, on my 22nd birthday last year on August 27th, and then was officially released on HBO Max last year on on October 7th of 2021. And it's also a different kind of movie since it's not really like an hour or an hour long. It's actually this this movie's actually only has a fifty three minute runtime, like a fifty minute runtime on HBO Max, and and it's also considered a Max original or an HBO Max original. So, so the mo so this film I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be on a, a Halsey movie, and it's going to be called Halsey. If I can't have love, I want power. So yeah, I actually watched this film on HBO Max today. And so, and so the the story of, of if if I can't have love, I want power. It, the, the story of this film goes like this: the music of Halsey's upcoming album of the same name, like like introduces a young pregnant queen, Leela, as as she wrestles with 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 the chokehold of of love to to ultimately discover that that the ability to create life and end it unlocks the the par uh, the paranormal power within her. And pretty much, you know, the and, pre, and pretty much the movie plays out as almost like a jukebox soundtrack, like you know, and and of course throughout the movie you get like mostly like like most of Halsey's songs that that were that were featured on her music album. If I can't have love, I want power. So there you go. And of course, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Game of Thrones, of course. Like where 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 there are some scenes in this film where it does feel a little bit like Game of Thrones, but it's not. It's actually just you know, it's like you know, because. Because this film plays out as like as like as like the same name as as Halsey's album, and of course her songs too. So if I can't have love, I want power is directed by Colin Tilly. Yeah, Colin Tilly is actually the director of this film, and stars Halsey herself. You know Halsey, the singer. And so, <clears throat> how does the movie play out, and what are what are my thoughts on this film? Honestly, I actually I actually like this film. I actually enjoyed it. I thought that I thought it ha I thought it had a really cool soundtrack. Like there are some songs that are considered creepy, of course. Like, that, like so some some of the songs are kind of creepy, but also like in, in in an entertaining way because because that that's what this movie plays out. It plays out as almost like a as almost like a like a little jukebox musical film, but but it's also considered a horror film too because there are some scenes in this film where it does get creepy and scary at the same time. There there are some some pretty scary scenes here and there, but 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 I actually enjoyed it. Like like I said, I enjoyed it. And, and like I said, I think Colin Tilly, the director of this film, I think he, I think he does a good job, like, directing this film, and, and Halsey, and I gotta say, Halsey also, also does, does a, does a good job in this film, too, I think Halsey does a really great job in this film, too, because I, I first knew about Halsey, like, you know, like, I first knew about Halsey, like, like, ever since last year in 2021, because, because her 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 career her career actually started in like in like the year of 2012 like she started her career in 2012 and then and then and then starting in 2018 Halsey began began an acting career where in in, in early like during the summer of 2018 Halsey provided the voice of Wonder Woman in Teen Titans Go to the Movies which I didn't really bother with Teen Titans Go to the Movies but maybe one of these days if, if one maybe one of these days I might I might give it a chance whatever but. But yeah, Teen Titans Go to the Movies as Wonder Woman, that was actually Halsey's first voice acting role. Late, later that year in 2018, Halsey would, would, would star in, in, in the 2018 film by Bradley Cooper, A Star is Born, where in, in the credits, she's actually credited by her birth name, like Ashley something, Nicole, it's something. But but yeah, so in the 2018 film, A Star is Born, Halsey, Halsey plays a music, plays as herself, and also he she plays the Music Awards presenter as well. And then, and then, and then, all the way up until twenty twenty one, she start she started in this film to promote her music album. If I can't have love, I want power. And 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 of course, later later that year, last year, Halsey Halsey provided the voice of of, of a girl wolf in in, in 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 the Illumination film Sing Two. And and of course, yeah, I I did review Sing Two last year, so. Yeah, and of course, I, I I actually did enjoy Halsey's role as Portia Crystal. You know, Portia the Wolf from Sing Two, and 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 it it kind of had me more it kind of had me more interested in Halsey. So I did, and and it, and it had me it also had me interested in checking this film out. And 
and and you got and you guys can already see it right here. I got my Callaway shirt from Saint Two on. I got my Callaway shirt that 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 Porsche was wearing in the movie itself. Yeah, and 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 most of you guys have guessed it in the thumbnail picture, like in the thumbnail picture of this video. It, it, I, it's actually me, like, well, like wearing wearing the sunglasses, like you know, just like you know, cosplaying as as Portia. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So so overall, if I can't have love, I, I want power. Overall, this this film this film was a good film, and 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 plus there are some scenes where, and like I said, there are some scenes in this film where where it does get a, a, a little weird and creepy. Because because there's actually some some nudity in this film, like like because I because there's actually some girl nudity in this film, and I I know it's weird, guys. I know it's weird, but and and, and I do know and I do know how this feels like an R-rated film, and yeah, and that's how it is. And but but nonetheless, I still enjoy this film. If I can't have love, I want power. It's got a good soundtrack, and Halsey does a great job, just like she did playing Portia Crystal and from Sing Two. So overall. This film was was a good film from 2021 that played in IMAX theaters on August 27th and and on HBO Max on October 7th of 2021, and so my my overall rating for this film I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five stars because despite its flaws like despite its issues and problems like you know of how weird this film is at at times I I still think it's a good movie, so yeah three and a half out of five stars. And so, if if you have HBO Max and you're if you're a fan of Halsey, and then then I say give this movie a watch because, like I said, if you have HBO Max, then feel free to check this film out if you want. And plus, plus I even heard that Halsey herself, Halsey that is actually going to be is actually come coming to Columbia, Maryland, like this this June, like like she's actually going to be at Meriwether, like Meriwether, the same place I graduated high school in 2019. Yeah, I, I repeat. Halsey is going to be at Meriwether in Columbia, Maryland this June. And so I told my parents about it and I told my parents about it. And, and, and plus we're, we're, we're officially think, thinking about going to see her live at, at, at Meriwether. So we don't, we don't know for sure yet, but, but there, there might be a possible good chance that we, we might go. So, and then, and then maybe until then I'll start, I'll, I'll wear my clay, I'll, I'll wear my Callaway shirt from scene two there. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool since, you know, Halsey was Portia, Crystal, the wolf. Yeah. But yeah, so feel free to check out this film. If I can't have love, I want power. F feel free to check it out if you want. And so, so that that's pretty much my thoughts on this film. So that's going to be it for this movie review. So hope you guys enjoyed my review on If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to like this video too. So with that being said, until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye everybody and that's about it.